Ooh. Too stylish. Hey, she too fly. Uh, Make me lose what balance. Back it up, back it up. Like we taking over. Oh, I don't know, bro. What you know? Ooh. 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 Taking over. Oh, yeah? Taking over. Okay. 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 What do you mean? 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 Wind it up. Wind it up. We'll go ahead. Ooh. 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 Do the dip. Do the dip. Ooh. Do the dip. Do the. Ooh. Ooh. Why your face like that? Why your face? I don't know. Do the shoulder roll. I've been staying focused. Ooh. 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 Little toe tap. Little toe tap. Look. Ooh. 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 Little toe tap. Little toe tap. All right. Just cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. What's going on? Man, this is another episode of Cutting Weight with Malik B and Justin Elliott. What's going on? Bro, we're not guest studio. Guest studio. And we got my man, man, Evan. Yo, yo. What's Evan, what's going on? Uh, hell yeah. Man, what? Evan, you got it. Man, this is a nice studio, bro. Bro, what? The aesthetic of it is very nice. I feel like I'm at home, low key. You are? I feel like I don't have this in the back. I, I don't have that Yeah, I don't have that in the back. But it feels, it, it feels, it feel, uh, uh, is this velour on the seat? <laughs> Man, I don't know how to act. Listen, this couch, this couch, this is the couch that you just come and you be like, yo, I don't even know why she tripping on me. I don't know why she stabbed me. I don't it's know therapy. why. This is too much for me. This, I don't know how to sit. Do yeah. I, am I, am yeah, I sitting I'll, nice? I'll try to cock my foot. All right, right, cool. Before, before we start, shoe cam. Shoe, oh, yeah, man. You know, just a little great for this. You know, let me take them off so they can see. Don't take it off. You get a little, you get a little, we fancy, man. Yeah, they fancy. You gotta tote, you gotta you just do your foot like you're doing this a little bit more shows, you get a little bit more. Okay, yeah, yeah. well, you what know, about you? What you got doing? Oh, all, all white Air Force. Ones. Oh, yeah, I see all him. You went classic today, yeah, classic. classic. I see. We're I in a classic you. place. This I is see. where, listen, my pops has always told me they was like, yo, therapy, you, you I'm not rich enough for therapy and I'm not white, mm-hmm. but damn it, I made it. Yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a therapy <laughs> session, shit right what? here. I ain't I gonna lie to you. You want to confess something, man? Well, um, um, I'm jealous of Mike Tyson and Roy Jones right now. Now, let's, let's talk. Let's about talk it. about it, bro. I've been calling trying out. to get me cased up. I've been calling out Mike Tyson for two and a half weeks now. Man, he, I don't know why you got a vendetta against this he man. Cho- he chose a has been over Malik B. Wait, a has been? Yeah, Roy Jones. Roy Jones is not a has been. Oh yeah, yeah, he's a he's a has been. What are you talking about? The Roy guy, Jones the, used to be what he just last I'm week. Talk, he was the top five. Okay, he was the top about, five. He was, but listen, I'm talking about the guy from the Matrix now. It's a different kind of Roy Jones. It's that guy who be boxing and the guy who be acting. Roy and Jones. I remember him from the Matrix Reloaded. How much is Roy Jones getting paid? Seven hundred fifty thousand. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Could have been me. It could have been you me. You could have got seven hundred and fifty. You probably would have got five hundred thousand. Maybe two hundred and fifty k. Because they would have been like, "We he's fighting Malik B." Yeah, but they'd be like, "It doesn't matter." A lot of people would have saw Tyson and they would have like disregarded, like, "Oh, it's just a, for one, it's an exhibition. For two, Tyson don't show up in big fights. He never have, never that will. That is true. He that never have. True. He never. He every time it's a big fight, you know what he does? He bites people's ears off. Well, that was he, only one time. That was only one fight. Nah, I, I heard he had an underground street fight. Oh, okay, okay. So that's his move. He used. would you pay ever? Would you pay Malik uh, seven hundred fifty dollars, uh, seven hundred fifty thousand to fight Tyson? Uh, would uh, you love to see that on pay per view? Yeah. If I had the money, I would. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. that doesn't. That's not real life. Is, that's not real. So, life. Uh, it's not realistic. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Just like I don't <laughs> see Roy Jones, <laughs> you being a better contender than Roy Jones. I'm a Bro, better I, contender. Okay, so and how many rounds is going? How many times? How many it's rounds? It's an is eight round fight. Eight round fight. Okay, it's an exhibition. Okay, it's an exhibition fight. It's not right? even a real fight. That's getting Tyson ready for his bigger opponents. I Which feel. should be me, man. Please <laughs> listen to me. I can you gain thirty. I can gain thirty pounds. Right. Uh, my back is already there. I walk. Listen, when I walk, I gotta walk sideways. And when I enter the room, my back can't fit. Wow. Two, two, two. I think like all. I'm already like fast. My, my I'm in you condition. Got you got it. You I got. got it. I, and listen, I've been studying mm-hmm. Tyson. I've been watching Tyson. I've mm-hmm. been. I, listen, I watched so much of Tyson. I watched this one way, uh, one man Broadway play. Mm-hmm. Liked it, but do I care for it? No. Okay. But, okay. But okay. Okay. So this is the major question right here. So okay. you saying you can go back and forth with Tyson? But let me ask yeah. you this: yeah. How many rounds you feel like you could go re- with Tyson for real, realistically? Because once he's I just told you. With the you. Pop- He's not Tyson hitting me. Tyson once knocked the man out in 30 seconds, right? Under a minute? So a minute what? fight? Bro, yeah. you going to... <laughs> that dude couldn't fight. Man, who who was it? Who was it? Buster, who was it? It wasn't no damn, but he got knocked out by Buster Duck. Oh, he did. Okay, I was talking about he was looking for his mouthpiece. That's how I'm going to have him. <laughs> that's what they call me, mouthpiece Malik B. I wow. just knock your mouth out. I'm sure that's what I'm pretty sure that's what they call you. They, they, well, shit, a lot, of, a lot of people do. Well, that's true. I did see you knock out a few people. Okay, so I I, I, I'm trying out. to tell you right now. I'm trying to tell you if Tyson would have come... If you come close to me, then I'm just like, if I see him in real life, I'm, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Act like you Tyson. Did you see that video? Act like you Tyson. I'm going to just show you something. Hey, Melly. Hey. What you say, Tyson? Me- what you say, Tyson? What? 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 
Oh, I, man, I don't want you to punch me for real. Because <laughs> the way your face is for looking, one, you, you one, getting mad for real. Hey, man, can you do a better than Mike Tyson impression? Because that was awful. I don't know I don't know, know Mike Tyson. Yeah. Hey, man, how you doing, man? He did, oh, shit, this perfect. This is what I need. Here we go. Here we go. This one. <clears throat> go ahead. Hey, man, how you doing, man? Like, don't know. Don't call me that. You know my name. I don't know your name, man. <laughs> my name is Mouthpiece Malik B. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't apologize. Listen to me. You're a bum. And I want you, pause. And I want to take you in the ring, and and take you in the back shed. This sound like some. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean <laughs> even though you yeah, did say pause, yeah, I did say pause. I did it pause. did. Are we, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to hey, you. Man, are, we, are we fighting? Man? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 he said, that's a man that said he want to eat your kids. So if you tell Tyson, I want to take you in the back shed, he going to think like, oh, you on my level. I don't want none of that. You got to win the fight outside the ring. I'm already there mentally. Tyson is 10 times crazy. You, I even I think, I think, I, he's, a I think he was yesterday. crazier. I think he was crazier yes I mean in his <laughs> younger years than he is now. Yeah, so okay. I, I think he's a little bit more reasonable now. Okay, well, here's the thing. I'm, I don't have it all up top. I know. Wait, no, no. That, <laughs> I, I'm, trust me, I'm very much aware <laughs> of your, your mental capability, your that's, mental that's, capacity. No, that's not what I'm, I'm saying. Say, I'm, say, I'm, saying, I'm saying this, all right? You got to do, you got to plan for the dirty stuff that Tyson brings. Every fight, he comes with elbows, biting people, you know what I mean? Hitting them low blow. He ne big fights, I'm talking about. When guys have bigger bats and better boxes, mm -hmm. he always had these dirty antics. But they never really got into Tyson's psyche. When crazy, you got to be Listen, a bum, if you, I mean, I'm sorry, a homeless guy, you know, they'd be like, ah, taking their shirt off and be like, oh, gasoline on my nipples. Like, that's why you got to go crazy with him. They be like, yo, hey, man, you want, listen, I just talked to Jesus. You want to meet him? I said, I just got off the phone with him. And then you just man. go off. Man. I'm trying to that tell you. That ain't going to scare Tyson. Gonna tell, you talking about you got to get in the, uh, in the Tyson, psyche. In the yes. psyche. Yes. Medication. That's not. getting into his psyche. Right. That you I'm doing gonna go, all I'm that gonna ain't going to scare you. You know how Tyson wins most of the fights at the weigh-in? I'm going to mess him up. I'm going to mess him up. And let's say we do have sign a contract. Mm -hmm. This I'm going to get in his psyche. They be like, yo, coming to the stage now. Mike Tyson, he takes off his stuff and he is in stuff. He's like, Malik. weighing 220 pounds. Malik. Coming to the stage now, Malik B. Malik. I come to the way in a whole chicken outfit. Let me so first. Chicken suit. He ain't never seen a who you fighting, Birdman or Malik B. You don't know. He confused. And I might just go, Ka -ka! I don't do some stupid shit like that to get in his head. Ka -ka! You ain't, who you gonna fight? You, yeah, you can't fight it. If you you can't hit a dude, Ka -ka! you can't hit a dude. Yes, you can't hit a dude doing the Ka -ka! In your ear Yes you can That'll make you want to hit him in Actually a little bit A little bit faster yeah, I'm you, assuming I saw your head get <laughs> I, was about, I'm about, I was balling up in the back Cause you <laughs> You said Do you agree with Tyson is crazy Evan Yes Okay so you gotta put, With crazy people You gotta get crazy with them That's how they understand you Okay But are so, you just speaking Their language though Speaking their language <laughs> So okay. now with Tyson Alright I'm, I'm in So you saying All crazy people Could do the cuckoo That's what, that No was. but I also I didn't get to my other part. I'm gonna have a whole Popeye's chicken sandwich In my hand Give a shit about the weigh in? Come on now. And I'm going to just throw it at him. Here. I heard these was good. And I'll start talking like, I heard these was good, Mike. And I just throw it at him. Uh, you know what I think? I yeah. think once you get in that ring, yeah. Tyson going to beat you like Meg Thee Stallion beat Tory Lanez. I'm talking about. She, I'm talking about he gonna be putting haymaker bombs on you, just like, you know, and you shorter than him. I'm not, I'm taller. I'm taller. I'm taller. How tall is Tyson? Tyson is 5'11. 5'10. Uh, okay. But you about five ten? No, I'm not, don't disrespect me, bro. You are about five. I'm 10. six one and a half, bro. You, bro, without shoes, without well, I, platform, well, Air Forces on, well, bro. Air Forces, I'm six three. By, Evan by six two, right? Six one and a half. Six, six one, one and a half. half. Yeah. Evan, he, that's a that's a we was out of eye. Yeah, you, I was. You was more so. I'm weak. taller than you. On a good day. <laughs> 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 you said all this. You said all this to say what? Anyway, okay. Well, 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 I heard what you said with Meg Thee Stallion and all that. We'll get to that in a little bit. All right. Do you agree with old has beens coming back to boxing and just like making a complete mockery of it? Is that how much boxing is mockery? Like, what are you talking about? But they Everybody got, Nate, loves they got Nate Robinson and Jake Paul fighting underneath the undercard. They well, couldn't Jake have Paul, me and Kareem, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. We might as well be doing that. You know what I mean? Like you that's and the, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I'll put hands on Kareem. 
Tall Kareem Abdul Jabbar seven, basketball seven two. playing I put, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. I put hands on him. Sixty nine year old Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You gonna be hand, fighting? I will put hands. So on you him. out here fighting senior citizens now? This man got a senior citizens card, I don't, I don't and you out here putting hands on Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Well, like, I heard his jokes. I heard the jokes. I follow him. He follow me. When people said I had wheelchair legs, he ain't, he ain't like stand by my side. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, I follow you. Well, his son does. Oh, okay. There we go. So it's green. <laughs> so it's green. My dude, Jabbar yeah. Junior. No, no, it's uh, Kareem uh, Jafar Abar. Oh, so his name ain't even Kareem. Nah, it's Kareem Jafar Abar. So you bringing up? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you bringing up a situation between somebody else that don't even follow you? His son does. Yeah. So why? Okay, let's go ahead. And okay, go that's ahead what I'm saying. On. It's a complete mockery of boxing right now. I don't, you don't see that. Mockery you don't see that. You don't see that in NBA, uh, the, uh, UFC. You, you don't see YouTube stars fighting basketball players and getting licensed and just like, yo, and make some money off of it. No, you don't. But Jake Paul does like to fight and Nate Robinson, they both they both people that like to fight. And it's Nate, an exhibition. It's Nate. not people making it seem like this is an actual boxing match. Exhibition. This is just a exhibition to get money, revenue. Is boxing dead like that? I can bring it back, but I'm asking a question. Is boxing dead like that? Bring it back, Mal. I can bring it back. Who, who you That's what they call back? me, Mal. You know bring you it back, B. You need to go in the back just like Kimbo Slice used to do and beat up on people. Oh, speaking of that, Mazadov. You, you know, uh, you don't even know who that is. He's a UFC fighter. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought you was talking about Mazadov. I was like, we making a toast? <laughs> I was like, I ain't know that. What you, <laughs> you, you judge? <laughs> what? By missiles? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I was, I was like, okay. <laughs> you an idiot. You an idiot. <laughs> no, Jose Masada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just, you messed up. He came from that era. Oh, okay. And he, like, literally, he just had a fight off of, like, a week's notice and took that. And he went five rounds. And the boy kept stepping on his toe. Like, and you saw that. You said he kept stepping on his toe. And I just want to say, that's my new move now. That's why I'm going to do the Tyson. That's my new little thing now. Stepping a lot of people, phone. a lot of people never stepped on Tyson. I know you, you know where I was going with that. I'm bringing it all the way back to Tyson again. A lot of people didn't step on his foot a lot. He have I, I noticed, I looked at his frame. He don't got big feet. And you know what they say with men with big feet? Power is, power is ain't like that. His knockout power ain't like that. It's made up. Bro, yeah. Tyson is like a, 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 like, a tar, a, like a Tasmanian devil. You know what I'm saying? One that was my favorite Looney Tune. Continue. And... To get in a ring with a Tasmanian devil. Okay. Talk okay. To me, talk to me. You, you if can we tame were, that. Now we, no, nah, we want to talk about, if we want to talk about comparisons. Yeah. What Tyson more Tasmanian. What am okay. I, what am I? Talk to me. You Represent ferocious. Me, you yeah. more, uh, uh, uh. Talk to me, baby. Uh, Lola. What? Lola bunny. The, yeah, the girl, the girl, you're a little books. sensitive. You like to get manicures and pedicures and stuff like that. You well, like I acting like take, and stuff I like, like I that. Like yeah, so you, myself, yeah. yeah, so you, you a little bit more on the on the sensitive side. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you really want to go into the ring with Tyson. All right, moving on. Um, so so you you, you can't believe you just called me a girl bunny. Hey, I can't believe you, know, you might as well just call me a playboy. Hey, but damn it, I'm, I'm a whore to you. That's what you calling me. You call me a whore to my face, and I don't like that. Listen. <laughs> So what you were saying about what you were saying about Meg this time? I don't know too much about this, but I saw I saw Dre say something crazy. Yeah, Dre did say. So let's break it down. So Dre, I mean, if y'all don't know, uh, uh, Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez got into a little debacle. It wasn't even a debacle; it was a case. A Come case, on. right? Yeah, a full blown case where he got uh, Tory Lanez uh, apparently shot her in the foot. But then what? What I'm hearing through the streets, you know, I got connects. You know, me being in Hollywood and I'm real connected to the streets like that. Wait. I keep my ear to the streets. When, when, anyway, don't worry about that. Anyway, so what I'm hearing is Meg and Tori had a little entangled situation together, meaning they was crushed grooving on the side without okay. the publicity even, like the people even knowing about it. I didn't know. And then when they went to a party, okay. Tori was getting close with Kylie Jenner. Oh, sh well, who wouldn't Then Meg to got mad and put the hands on Tori. Wait, wait. So wait, Tori was getting close to Kylie Jenner. Right. And then Meg got mad at him, and right. then she left, and he got no, mad. No, she ain't leave. She, ain't leave. she got mad. She got and mad. put the hands on Tory. She put the hands on Tory at the party. Well, I heard he's like five what five. He is about we about five one five, five one. Two, and five she three. like she about like every bit. She's six seven. feet in heels. In heels, so she about every bit of like. And she from Texas. And she was Texas. Texas so and she was in the know. swimming pool, so I already know she had no shoes on. And that body good. was looking so right. You saw it. 
I ain't see it, but I could just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it, but I'm here through the grapevine. It is I, masterpiece. I, I, I want to know when did you get your ear to the Hollywood streets, but that's here nor there. So, no, so, 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 <laughs> so then, so how did he end up? Like, where did the gun Man, come? Out? I don't know how you that happened, said. but when somebody getting whooped up like that, I felt. I guess he felt threatened. And he was like, he pulled it out like, yo, get away from me, get off of me type. And she's like, you know, women get, she was drunk, you know, probably couldn't control the liquor. Yeah. What you going to do? Shoot me. And then, you know, I'll shoot you in your goddamn foot shoot right you in now. your foot. Oh, shit, go ahead. Nigga, I, he'll, I <laughs> bet you won't. Right. Right there. Shot him right in the foot. And how did they end up leaving together? I don't think they left together. They, I, they probably left together in the police car because that's what happened with the case. You remember, well, I, I, I remember, I remember them. In the same car when the police pulled him over, so I'm trying to figure out why. What you mean? He probably was taking that to the hospital. I don't know what. I don't know what was going but on. But you just said they left in separate cars. They didn't leave in separate cars. Well, you just said that. If we could play with that back, you just said they probably wasn't. Don't worry about that. We ain't gonna worry about that. Okay, but the Hollywood streets. The yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. So you TMZ. You JMZ. Hey, I'm JMZ Z. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the extra Z for? Just in case TMZ has that uh, that, <laughs> that copyright. <laughs> they might have all the letters copyrighted. <laughs> So I'm gonna be JMZZ. Okay, well you know what ZZ stands for. Zoom to the next topic. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now, now you had a little situation before the podcast. Yeah, you said things that get on your nerve, your pet peeves. Man, I'm tired of it. Okay. I'm just tired of it. Okay, I feel like women should give men a little bit more courtesy on. Wait, before you even say that, we didn't even talk about what Drea crazy self said. Go ahead, because remember you was talking about with Drea and Megan. Drea is crazy because she's talking about she wanted somebody that's going to shoot her. Have you ever been in love with a chick that like w- wants you to like literally just pull you over like, yo, girl, I'll kill you right now. Say I won't shoot you. And she was like, I, I you won't. And then she was like, oh, this dude really loved me. Did you ever have like a crazy... Not that I can remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't you remember don't having one of those. <laughs> Never I, mean, I, I should think a little longer, but I don't. I don't remember that happening. Yeah. Okay, okay. I just, just you don't want to make that. sure you don't want that. You had that? Nah, I had. I did have a little, fa- uh, a little not fatal close, attraction. Feel a little close to fatal attraction. What? What? What's up? Explain to a little well, bit. This, this news to me. I, I thought mean, I knew it was back in Miami. Okay, had a situation. Girl showed up at my doorstep. On now, some what late nationality? Night because that, that's important in this case. What nationality? She was Asian. Mm-hmm. She was Asia. Mm-hmm. Showed up at the house. Continue. Showed up at the house. Okay. I don't know any too many Asians just to pull up, but go continue. Uh all Asians. <laughs> all women pull up. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, I you, don't know. Hey, I don't. Listen. I never I'm not over there. I never if been you, in over there in the street. If streets. you entangled right, yeah. they gonna pull up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So you they, you you pitting, you P I D. I am entangled. Okay, well keep going. So anyway, I mean that was just a situation back in the day. She just pulled up at my house trying to, you know, start some beef. Looking at my, you know, looking at my car, trying to smash stuff. But I mean, it really ain't really go too much, you know, because I was yeah. more so on my smooth tip. So how did you handle that situation when she tried to like back beat your car in and stuff? I said, girl, if you'll get your crazy ass away from my God. Yo, 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 I know your voice <laughs> didn't get higher than hers. I know for damn sure. That's not threatening. I walked out the house. I was like, girl, what? she's going to be a thousand feet away from my house. What you doing over here? Oh, you, <laughs> oh, you, you brought it the next Friday. Okay, I see no, but I No, but I, I, it was literally one of those situations where she just pulled up at my crib on some uh, couldn't control her emotions. But I feel like most women. Well, do you, you lead? Do you lead? Them, do you lead women to that situation? Not at all. I feel like I am very. Very open communicate. Uh, I communicate very openly. Yeah. Okay. So, what was the miscommunication in that situation? If you don't mind me going dig down, because this is a therapy couch. I'm trying to get it all out. Man, you is Doctor Philip. I see. <laughs> I see. Uh, no, yeah. it was just more so a situation where she was. Um, I had received a you know a sexting message from a different woman. A different, of course, a different woman. I ain't gonna have no 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 dude in my phone. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know. I had to clear the, for the babies. Man, and please. The babies, no. The babies, no. Okay, continue. Okay. Continue. All right. So basically, you know, she was just mad about it. Oh, so she, she wanted to call me out on it. All right. All right. And then she kind of, is that communicating? Yeah. I think you should let her know, hey, you're going to get a you gonna get a, a, a freaky picture every once in a while. You know, I'm a man. Yeah. A man going to get a freaky picture every once in a while. If you're not getting a freaky picture. Yeah. From a, a another woman Talk every shit. once in a while, maybe a couple of months, All right. or a freaky message Let every couple of months. Keep going. It's not keeping the relationship spicy. Oh shit, boy! What you, did you just drop a gym? Drop gyms. Evan, are you married? Yes. Oh, hey, Evan. Is, oh, is man, that true? 
Um, <laughs> I, 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 I think there's other ways of keeping it spicy. Yeah, right, sure. I thought so as well. It might I be th- a little easier to navigate. Yeah, yeah I thought so as well. But, I- <laughs> uh, that's a quick way to start a, a long night of, of <laughs> talking. Until <laughs> about 4 a.m. Until 4 a.m. Because you could be sleeping but see, at that's 4 a.m. Okay. But that's, see, that's two different mediums, though. See, Evan's married. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare say that with someone that's married okay. to keep it oh, spicy. Oh, you're, you're trying to say... I'm the, saying yeah. this is some... In this a is relig- the passage to marriage. Oh, you know God. What I mean? It's okay. like, you know, if we in a situation, right? Yeah. You know... I feel women that? that I date, yeah, most because you only have four women. He only, only laid I've in the only, bed. Yeah, I've only been in uh, four. And by yeah. the way, this theory is only his theory, so it's just his. Well, I'm 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 a, I'm very astute. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a <laughs> well known philosopher when it comes down to GTD. Okay, a GTD. By the way, is this his book coming out called "To the People"? Get the draws. Get the draws. <laughs> don't, 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 laugh at don't laugh at that because he he still didn't tell us chapter two yet, so I don't understand what's going on. But you're very but, astute. But I'm yeah. very astute. But I mean, when it comes down to it, I feel like when you're dating someone, yeah. like okay. a, a, a a, I feel like talk you talk. should. Yeah. She should send you naked pictures. You could send her naked pictures. Okay. You know, and if you're not doing that to keep it kind of spicy, yeah. then unfortunately. Another woman or man will. Guys send dick pics to girls all the time. You think your what? girl is not getting a dick pic just Bruh. unsolicited? <laughs> not, and then they feel like you put know. Mine I put mine in a group chat. You know, okay. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, let's let's keep it let's keep it 100. Yeah. a hundred. A guy sends women dick pics all the time. No offense. I, I mean, I mean, you probably married, like you said. But she's gotten some. Yeah, thank you. Saying, yeah. Thank you. Just yeah, out of I'm not words. disagreeing with you, but continue. So what I'm saying is, if it's on the opposite end, you know what I mean? Like I'm pretty sure your girl will want to more see that from you than another. You know what I'm saying? Than bro, somebody else. I put you my, gotta keep it spicy. I'm gonna tell you a true story, bro. I was sending my dick pic to like the group of these women, and I was like, man, I'm just gonna put them all in the group chat. Accidentally put my auntie in the group chat too. <laughs> Her name was Sheila. Yeah. You got issues. Well, shit. You did say you wasn't all there in the beginning well, of the bro, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You know, she. It was. It's so weird at Thanksgiving now that she know I got a piece. <laughs> <laughs> she be looking at me up and down. I'm like, oh god damn, auntie, you a little freak, coach. She was like, yo, you know, I, I'm your distant auntie. I said, get your little freaky ass <laughs> incest. About this goddamn incest. <laughs> but I do think it's important to keep, like you were saying, keep the relationship spicy. Also, I think it's good to feel like either people you could lose each other if you mm. don't keep it you don't stay sharp yeah correct course, you know saying, what i'm saying yeah. like you it's it's not a given that like mm. you know just because you, you got each other forever exactly mm. yeah. exactly you gotta, I, you gotta continue to do the things that you did early in a relationship to get exactly. her keep her attention i will leave your ass you you would what oh. all right well before we get out of here you had a pet peeve about women not texting you back what why why is that your pet peeve and then we can get about what you mean? Who doesn't want to be text back? I feel like if you were in the midst of a conversation, a real meaningful conversation, like what was, hey, what was the meaningful part about it? Hey, I was saying hello, good morning, how how are you? Good afternoon. I'm starting off the conversation, and if I start up the conversation, if I take the time out of my busy day to say hello, I deserve good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Back, that's all I'm saying. It wasn't that meaningful, but I was trying to start off something. So now it's, now it's not, not that meaningful. Well, We're thinking like you're in some like some deep like yo, oh my god, I don't know why the doctor said it can be like chlamydia, like that kind of. I thought that was like how meaningful you was, but she was just like, hey, I was just like, hey, what's up? What's up with it? And she ain't text me back. Okay. You think I should have sent her emoji with that? Maybe I could have hit her with the "Hey, what's up?" and then hit her with a dick pic. Oh, that and one. that's been another episode <laughs> of Cutting Weight with Matt. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for listening, man. Um, a lot has been confessed on this therapy couch. I, I, th- I thought I knew my friend, man. Um, please, okay, tune in to another episode and please subscribe up. Thank you so much, Evan, for opening up your home to the Cutting Weight Boys. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. <laughs>